How are you guys doing? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're with the little baby right here, the full fetty. Okay, okay. Um, today, we're going to do some spoke covers. We're going to change these uh, naked looking spokes. We're going to add some covers to them. They're going to look fire. They're going to be black, but it's going to be different. The bike is going to be a lot different with black spoke covers. So, Let's go ahead, set up the camera, get right into this video. If you've never done it, here's how to do it. And if you've already done it, stay with me. All right, here we are with the black spool covers. Um, as you can see, boom, black. We're just going to, right now they're really empty, really naked right now, as you guys can see. But that's about to change, black spool covers. So we're about to do this right now. They're all black. Um, I'm going to cut them to pieces. So I'm gonna measure how far it is because obviously these come a little bit uh, a little bit longer just in case you mess up. So I'm gonna measure how far it goes and I'm gonna cut it, cut all of them, and obviously we're gonna get into the video and go ahead and install the spoke covers. All right, so we open the spokes. Boom, right here, as you guys can see, they're all black. These were eight, I think they were $9. I'll put the, the price right here. Um, I got them for $9 from, I believe, China or Amazon Prime. I'll let you... Again, I'll put it right here. But, here we go, guys. 72 spokes. They bring like 5, 6, 7 extras just in case you mess up. And every single one of them are way longer than they're supposed to. As you guys can see here. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, so they're way longer than, than what it's supposed to. So, you guys, in case you mess up, you have enough room to play with. So, what I like to do is, obviously I get them, I'm going to put these down, and I measure my first one. What I, I like to try to do is open this up, right, and I'll put my first one from the top to the bottom. So, right now it's on, right? It's going to keep pushing it down. I don't know if you guys can see from there. But basically, you're going to keep pushing down. Until it gets all the way to the bottom and you can't no more over here, right? And then boom. So right there, I don't know if you guys can see that from this angle. We're going to cut it to about right there. I always like to cut a little bit more just in case. Get some good scissors. These are cheap. But basically, I still got to trim a little more. But it's less, it's more forgiven, right? So let's go ahead and trim a little more. Okay, perfect. Spoke one is done. So since it's done and perfect to the size, they don't slide up or down. What we like to do is take it off. And this is the one I just cut, right? And this is the one that brings, that comes just like the other ones. Look how forgiving that is, guys. Right here, look. You have about this much. Can you guys see it? You guys got about this much to play around with. So don't mess up, and even if you do, there's still a lot more that you can um, play around with. But basically, what I like to do is get like four, right? Set them right here, boom. Grab them real tight, and cut the rest to the length. Get a better scissor, but you know what I'm trying to say. All right, so we got three done so far. We got the dents over here. We're going to cut them real quick. Boom. And basically, out of one second, I have already five spokes done. So it kills, it kills a lot of time, and it's way easier and faster like this. So go ahead and do that. We're going to throw this in a time lapse, and let's go ahead and get this wheel done right now. Alright guys, it's done. Look at this. Woo! All black, all black. 
Okay, the rim is a little dirty, but it's fine. I gotta wash the bike, but look at it. All black. Jeez. Look how fire looks. Can't really tell a lot. It makes a huge difference. Look at this. And look at these. Ew. Look at these. Look at these. Ew. Alright guys, so we're done with the back rim. As you guys can see, it's done. It looks fire. Now let's go ahead to the front rim get this over with. We are done with the spools. Sheesh. Let's get a let's get a up close and personal. Sheesh. All black, okay. It matches with the rest of the bike. All black. And I think these stand out a little bit more because this is black instead of like all chrome or whatever. This looks nice. Oh, I like I like how how black it looks. I love it. Sheesh! I want to get the frame guard right here, black or red, either or. I'm not sure yet, but that's coming soon. Um, this cover right here that it gets fading, there is a black cover they put on it, but I'm not sure. You guys are gonna have to stay tuned. Watch my video. Stay tuned with what I'm buying for the bike. But yes, guys, um, soon. It's gonna be black plastics because we're changing the color guys we're changing the color i don't know what color yet i'm gonna get um it's gonna be black plastics with i can't tell you the color but it's gonna be um different color graphics on black plastic so it's gonna be black and white and it's gonna be a it's gonna be a good color it's gonna be black white and the secret color so stay tuned watch my videos but yeah these are gonna go red because I want to keep everything red well I want to buy them red just because but when I change the plastic all of them are gonna be black so but whenever I throw these back on these red OEM graphics uh, plastics my bad um, these are gonna be red as well I don't like how they look white look I don't like now, if this was red, just like the number plate, it was white, but I put it red. To me, it looks 10 times much better. Little by little, we're going to add some details. As you guys can see, we added red foot pegs, and we're going to add some maybe another, another different color pegs, because when I buy the plastic and the graphics, they're going to be different colors, so that red is not going to match what I'm going to put, you know? But this is my baby right here. Jeez! Now, um, before we end this video, I also recommend before you do this, um, I'll probably put this in the beginning. If not, if you guys watch this whole video, now you know. But I think it's common sense. I wasn't going to say it, but like I said, I think it's common sense. You should wash your wheel or your spokes or wash your whole wheel before putting these on. The spoke cover is going to be covering the spoke. So, obviously, you don't know. You don't want dirt and all that. Or you, you want the least amount of dirt possible inside the spoke. Um, cause you never know when you're gonna take those off, so I didn't do it cause I'm getting a new rim Shh. I'm getting some new rims, but that's a little sneak peek of you know what's coming later in the future But I didn't do it cause I'm getting uh, new rims, but you should definitely wash your rims before you put these on This was a simple install and it looks great. I hope you guys do it as well If you're watching this video most likely you guys are looking to do it. So Please do it. For $8, $9, it's worth the big difference. You could get them all different type of colors. Uh, multi-color, 
two-tone you could get anything done for this full cover so hopefully the color you guys pick look fire on your bike but if you like this video hit it with a thumbs up subscribe comment like and share and i'll see you guys at the next video thank you guys for watching and i'm out